All right, solve the equation 3x cubed plus 4x squared equals 17x plus 6. Now, I've got two polynomials on different sides of the equation. I'm going to write everything. I'm going to rearrange and write everything on one side. Um, to do that, I'm going to subtract 17x on both sides. On my left-hand side, I still have 3x cubed plus 4x squared. Um, I'm going to subtract 17x on both sides. And I'm also going to subtract 6 on both sides, which means I've got 0 left on the right-hand side. I go through my basic, or well, my general stuff. Do I have any, um, do I have difference of two squares? No. Can I do this by grouping? No, it doesn't seem like it. So I'm going to use my um, remainder theorem. And I'm going to look, first of all, I'm going to look at negative 6. Negative 6 is 1 times 6, 2 times 3. So it's going to be plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 6, plus minus 3. Um, now I'm going to look for, I'm going to say, let P at X equals 3X cubed plus 4X squared minus 17X minus 6. Start with the easiest ones. At try 1. Um, if I put in 1 there, you don't have to show all of this working, but this is what you do. 4, 1 square minus 12 times 1 take away 6. Um, that equals 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 take away 12 is negative something, and then take away another 6. So that is not equal to 0. So P at negative 1 is not a factor. What about negative 1? So it's 3 times negative 1 cubed. 4 times negative 1 squared minus 12 times negative 1 take away 6. I've got negative 3, I've got positive 4 plus 12, my, that's also not equal to 0. Go to the next, so it's easier to do all the integers first. Start with 2, I say 3 times 2 cubed plus 4 times 2 squared minus 12 times 2 Let's make that minus 17 times 2, just to stop any confusion. Minus 17 times 2, um, minus 6. Work that out. That equals 2. Um, 8 times 3 is 24, plus 16, minus 34, minus 6, and that equals 0. So if, if um, 2 is divisible into D, therefore x minus 2 is a factor. Now again, to find what is the quadratic equation, you're going to multiply by that. You can either use the method where you say x minus 2 ax squared plus bx plus c, and you can find out how that way. Again, I prefer, just because it's much quicker, it's much quicker for me because I work here with an x, and if I divide by x, it's pretty simple to, uh, to divide x into anything. So this is 4x squared minus 17x minus 6. And I'm just going to divide x minus 2 in there. I'm going to go very quickly now into this. I'm going to say x goes in 3x cubed, 3x squared times. I'm going to multiply back. That gives us 3x squared minus 6x squared. I'm going to subtract, that becomes negative, that becomes positive. 3x takes away 3x is 0, 4x plus 6x squared is 10x squared, minus 17x goes in. x divide into 10x squared, positive 10x times, 10x times x is 10x squared, 10x times negative 2 is negative 20x. I subtract. That becomes a negative, that becomes a positive if I subtract. That is 0. 17x plus 20x equals 3x minus 6. x goes in 3x, negative, a positive 3 times. I multiply 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And that gives me 0. This should also be, always be 0 due to the fact that I know that this is a factor because this work out to be zero. If this is zero, that is a factor, 
which means there shouldn't be any remainders over here. I can therefore say x minus 2 multiplied by 3x squared plus 10x plus 3, and I just have to factorize that, x minus 2, that's going to be 3x, and x, I need to get to 10, so times 10 is 1, positive, positive, which equals 0, equals 0, equals 0, so therefore x equals 2, or x equals, for this one it is subtract by 1, divide by 3, so that will be minus a third, or x equals negative 3 for the last answer.